wondering why other people success or wondering why other people are successful is the refuge of losers. Yes. It's a loser mentality. It's a loser occupation. It's a it's a it's a loser practice because you're wondering why other people are successful. Like who gives a fuck? You can say you think it sucks, but to spend time wondering why someone is successful and hating on someone oh. for being successful, it doesn't do any good. It's like what is that old expression that jealousy is it's a poison that does the opposite of its intended. Oh, right. It doesn't affect the other person at all, but it poisons yourself. Yeah. It wastes your your energy and time. It, it, it just is so it's so indicative that you are insecure. Yes. It's like people don't realize how what a giveaway that is when they are talking shit. You're just like, yeah. ugh, this is just showing me that you fucking don't like yourself. Well, I figured out there's something that I figured out personally. Yeah. And that um, I, I try to relay this, and I try to be more clear and more concise the way I relay it. The way I look at it is that your mind, you have a certain amount of bandwidth. This is why I don't read Instagram comments or Twitter comments or YouTube comments. Like, I don't need time. If I read them, it's an accident. But to seek them out, yeah. you don't, like, you have bandwidth. I don't spend time wondering why I hate things or hating things or hating on someone or being jealous. You have, let's say, let's call it units. You have a hundred units of bandwidth in your mind. So that means there's a hundred units that you can spend on things you care about, or you could let your mind be occupied by some stupid fucking Twitter feud that you're in with some idiot that you don't even know, and you could spend 30% of your Twitter bandwidth, or your, your, your mind bandwidth on this, and then you only have 70% for the things you love. And then maybe you're, you're involved in some fucking relationship with someone who's an idiot and you're arguing back and forth with them. Well, there's another 30% that's gone. Now you, got, you have 40% left. You have 40% for the things you love instead of 100%. But if you, you only concentrate on the things you care about that mean something to you and learn how to do that, like you were talking about meditation, yeah. it's a form of meditation yep. because you're learning how to avoid the, the little road bumps and the ditches on the side of the road. That can... Suck yeah, your bandwidth. You can suck your bandwidth. You can give them just a little bit and go, okay, no, no, no. But like, or you could lean in. Like how you're saying, when you stopped drinking, all of a sudden your career took off. Mm -hmm. You started doing well. Because more bandwidth. You had more bandwidth, and you had l less problems. This yes. problem that you had that was rotting you away no longer existed. So now all of a sudden it frees up your time, and you realize, oh my god, there's so many funny things that I could talk about, and I have so much energy, and I'm so healthy. I could just go on stage and have fun, and then you're killing it. When was the last thing that you go, no, no, got it? Like you maybe gave it a little too much bandwidth. Do you still struggle with those things? No, I don't, and not really anymore, but it's been a gradual process. Like, remember the first You the had to have been a jealous dude in stand up. Like, when you first started out, you had to have hated the guy that was getting ahead. Like, right? I don't know any male comic. I definitely was in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. And, and the, how, the, what, yeah. What, what, what happened to that? You get successful and it didn't no, happen? No. I feel like before success. Before I was successful, before I was successful, I realized it was stupid. Long before, um, because when I was like an amateur, I would see guys that were killing, and uh, and I'd be like, "Fuck him! Like, why is he doing good? Like, that guy sucks, and this guy sucks, and you know, why, how come he got this and he got that?" And then I remember thinking, like, this is a gigantic waste of time. And I got into comedy because I'm a fan of comedy, and my concentrating on people that suck or being jealous about people that are doing well does me zero good. But Instead, if someone does well, I can be inspired and I can get fired up by it. I mean, I figured this out in my early 20s. I was like, okay, this is a, yeah. I have a poor way of looking at it because it's a, a martial arts thing. Because in martial arts, like you can't be jealous of someone else's ability. You have to realize you might have to fight them someday. So by realizing that they're really good, you, you're forced to be objective about it. And you have to go to work. Like you have to go, fuck, that guy's better than me. I got to get better. And you have to go to work. You right. Can't, you, you, there's no, there's no positive benefit in underestimating someone. Underestimating someone will get you fucking killed. Like literally, you're yeah. gonna get a shin smashed in your face. Like you don't want to convincing ever yourself that the something. things that you're jealous of them for aren't really yes. as good. Right. Convincing that will yourself. get your that will get you killed. Oh yeah. So you that's that's it, dude. Yeah. That's totally it. Because the things that I get jealous of or have. And I'm better about it now than I've ever been. But 
you know, you see other women. I mean, uh, my jealousies are always with other women. Yeah. It's just the way it is, like, and yeah. I have to fight it. And I'm really good about it now to be like actually inspired by women who are funnier than me. But that's awesome. But and to use it to, to be like, okay, then I need to be better. I need to get up to that level. Yes. That is, I need to go home and write. It like fires me up as opposed to like why. And it's powerful for everybody. It's powerful for them. It's powerful for you. Yes. It's like there's no negative aspect to it. It's like you should be thankful that there's women out there. That that make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Like when I see someone just murder on stage, fuck, I want to go to work. Yeah. I want to go write. I want to get home and write. Yeah. I want to I want to go perform. I'm like, fuck, that guy just killed her. Holy shit, she just crushed. She's out there killing it. He's he's doing so good. It makes me want to work harder. And in that sense, as long as someone's not doing anything bad, as long as someone's not victimizing someone, what they're doing is they're 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 showing you that it's possible to do better than you're doing. Yeah. And that's good.